Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be solving this challenge from Cold Wars called Bit Counting. They have a similar one on Lit Code, which is basically exactly the same. It's just on Lit Code. Um, I posted a link to the challenge in the description of the video, so go read the uh, go read the description of the challenge so that you know what we're talking about here. If you just stumbled upon the video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the starting function. And obviously what we have to do is first change this to binary and we can say that I'm going to write the long way first. I'm going to say const uh, binary binary representation. And the way we can do that is basically say n to string and we're gonna pass a base and when you pass a base it's basically going to transform it into a string number but in the uh, base that you pass. If you don't pass a base it's just going to transform it into a string but if you pass a base like 2 it's going to give you the um, binary representation in string format, right? Now what we want to do is they say you have to count how many ones are in this binary representation. So for that I will basically use a, a regex and a match, right? I'm gonna match with a regex which is gonna be a, a one and see how many times um, how many times one is is basically gonna give me all the matches of one is gonna give me uh, an array with. Uh, as many elements of one as it finds. So I'm going to say um, const one matches equals binary representation. And I'm going to use the match method on strings. And I'm going to pass this regex, which only has an one. And I'm going to say globally, right? And now this is going to be, if it finds any ones, then it's going to be uh, an array with as many ones as it finds. If not, it's just going to be null, right? So what we want to say here is basically a return. And we're going to say one matches. I'm going to use a ternary operator here. And I'm going to say if one matches uh, is, uh, is a positive value, like a truthy value, then I want to basically return uh, one matches which is an array length because this is gonna give me how many one once it has found in the binary representation else I just want to say zero because it means it doesn't uh, it didn't find any so that's why uh, one matches is null right so now instead of writing all this I can just say const one matches is I can basically change this to this right and to string two match this right and then this okay and that's it Th this should work basically what's happening here is it find it finds here in one matches here it put basically puts an array with as many ones as it finds in the binary representation if there are no ones because uh, the only way that would happen if n would be zero but we have to account for that uh, then um, or we can even uh, say this um, if n which means if n is a um, positive value then we want to return return this length so basically we're saying and then we want to delete all this so we're saying if n is a positive value so it's not zero which means it will have at least one uh, at least a one in the binary representation then we're going to basically uh, find the binary representation match how many ones in an array and then return the length and if n is a false value which means is zero uh, so if this is not true then this will not return here and it will go on and we will say return zero if this if this return didn't happen right so let's copy this
and try it out and it works and it all works and let's zoom it okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this one if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it just click the subscribe button and youtube will recommend you more of my content all right i'll see you next time bye bye for now